definitely have a good angle. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brenda and I'm back with another video. It's been 10 months you guys, but let me go get some Dutch Bros. I'll be right back. Ah! I don't know if I started the intro. The last moment I was literally going to Dutch and I think I dropped the camera. If I added that part, you saw it. If not, anyways. <laughs> so I got some Dutch. Um, I actually filmed this video already and I did not like it and that's that's just me being freaking Brenda so I decided to <laughs> record it again even though it was so long whatever anyways welcome back to my channel so you guys it's been 10 months since I filmed this video let me let me okay there oh okay there <laughs> it's been 10 months since I filmed this video and <laughs> I don't know I feel like weird it's just been so long like I don't feel I don't even know what I'm doing anymore I don't even know what I'm doing with my hands I'm just kidding I'm a pro so anyways you guys I'm, long story short I've been gone for 10 months off of YouTube and as much as I want to say I didn't miss it and I don't really like doing it I love doing YouTube it is what it is there's something about literally having videos and making content and just being able to see it again I was actually yesterday watching some of my old videos and then I have like this huge flash drive that I have and I was looking at videos that I did literally five years ago there was one that I did like a time lapse and maybe I don't think I'll share it on here because I was literally ugly crying and ain't nobody want to see Brenda ugly crying five years ago and I was just basically like saying like I don't know if I'm gonna make it on YouTube or if I'm gonna do it in real estate because I still hadn't passed my test when I took that video in 2017 I even said the date and everything I was so cute um so I was like just wow like all of the things that I said in that video I literally was like I hope you're doing good like I hope you're like happy and I hope you have a career that you're happy in and what's crazy is that I do and I am so thankful I am so blessed I've worked really really hard to get where I am right now I'm like sitting in my dream car guys I know it's a Toyota Camry but it's a tech decked out Toyota Camry I got the JBL speakers it goes fast it goes vroom I don't even I don't even go that fast and well sometimes I drive a little fast but not not really um and I'm just so blessed like I remember wanting this car like so badly the last time you guys saw me I had a Toyota Corolla and I literally got this car what six months ago six months ago seven yeah six months ago seven months ago it has a panoramic roof it's got like the heated seats it has all the bougie little gadgets like a huge screen in the front and JBL speakers it has the nice like matte rims it's like it's a Toyota Camry TRD so it has like I don't know somebody corrected me on TikTok and then they were like you don't have a TRD there's no such thing as a TRD is it TRD yeah TRD he's like um, he's like it's only for trucks well from what I told got told from the Toyota Camry uh, location that there's only two in Arizona that they shipped out and basically it has like a, a truck engine it goes fast it eats gas though like <laughs> I cannot travel with this car because literally like $60 to fill up gas and it eats it like that anyways besides the point I love my car and I'm just super super thankful guys so anyways 10 months uh, since I've been on here and I still want to do a video I didn't know if I wanted to do like a whole new channel or just continue the channel that I have now and I tell myself like you know what I just genuinely love doing it I could restart a whole new channel but I still have 750 something on here and those are 750 people that follow me on here and a lot of you guys sometimes have messaged me have told me that I inspire you and all these things and I'm like why make a whole new channel let me just say I'm back <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try my best to do some videos because honestly genuinely like I was saying I do love coming back on here and just like looking back at where I was or what I did or or just looking at silly videos I've done with Jose and stuff like that so anyways you guys to kind of catch you guys up it's been 10 months and a lot has happened this year had a lot to do with my health and um, this year started off really really scary um, I got sick and you know everybody's been kind of like obviously the pandemic and everything but I got valley fever I thought valley fever was only for dogs but turns out it's not humans can get it it's something in the soil within Arizona or just like 
think of the areas of like New Mexico and stuff like that. It's just in the dirt. We all inhale it. We all breathe it in and just it can activate by stress. It can activate by just something. So anyways, my left, my left lung, oh my God, I spit. My left lung um, started off like feeling pressure and like I started feeling really like, oh my God, I thought it was heartburn. Anyways, long story short, I got misdiagnosed like three times by three different doctors. Also, my bad because I didn't ask one for blood work. Two, I didn't tell anybody to like do blood work and kind of see what was really going on. These doctors really just don't care about you. It's like, if you're not gonna ask for it, honey, bye bye And also, mind you, I'm so, I was self-employed, so I didn't have insurance, and I had like, like just like a sad insurance that really didn't cover anything. Um, so I had to find a private insurance, and finally, when I got private insurance, they were like, oh, let me take you here. And it's so sad that you have to have insurance for them to like do anything. But anyways, I was naive to it too, to not get it in the beginning because I had money to pay for blood work and whatever. But um, anyways, so turns out that January I got really sick and they told me that they thought it was, um, uh, what was it called? Chest. Basically, they thought I had um, heartburn. Okay, heartburn. <laughs> I can't even think. I had heartburn and then I got diagnosed again from a different doctor that I had pneumonia. I came back from Vegas. I even took a trip feeling really sick. Um, thinking that it was just me in my mind. Like I literally, um, it's just heartburn. And I started kind of swelling up with like hives and just like, like my body started getting like these, like just big hives. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm fine. Like it's just, I don't know, probably <laughs> heartburn. I came back from Vegas feeling super sick, um, and um, I went I went to Vegas for one of my friend's birthdays. And, anyways, came back and literally, um, as I come back, I get worse. And then I go to another doctor, and this other doctor was telling me, um, "Hey, I think you have pneumonia," because they checked my chest and it looked like I had this big old white just spot. So, anyways, turns out um, they thought I had pneumonia. So I was like, okay great I mean not great but let's just get it taken care of so I got medication for my pneumonia thinking like okay I'm gonna be good now I'm going to be safe so then um, turns out I didn't have pneumonia because I ended up spiraling my body started swelling my body started like literally my wrist was like like just add like another inch to it and my joints were hurting. I was getting all these bruises on my legs, just swelling up. My feet were swelling up, my hands were swelling up. I couldn't even put on any of my like rings and it was just the most scariest moment in my life. Every single time I think about it, I wanna cry because it was, it was beyond scary. Like to the point where I should have probably, like from what I hear from the doctors now is I could have died and I guess it's like the scariest thing about it all. Um, it's just the fact that like I couldn't even move and Jose had to like help me physically like get up and go to the bathroom and like just the thought of like opening something hurt so much and basically from when the doctors finally getting a primary doctor and like getting more test results and a pulmonologist and all this kinds of stuff figuring out that I had valley fever before that, they thought I had, um, what's it called, um, lupus, because I guess bruises happen with lupus, and then they said the C word, so just imagine where my brain and my head was. I was just like, this is it, like, this is so crazy, life can change like that. So, anyways, um, finally figuring out his valley fever, um, and getting on medication, I was finally doing better, but it's just crazy how things like that can really just change everything and um, thankfully finally being on good medication I was doing really I was doing better but finding out what happened was even scarier because it turns out the whole side of my uh, left lung was like white so basically valley fever is a fungus so what was happening is the fungus was growing and it wasn't allowing um, air so if we all basically oxygen throughout my whole body so that's why I was swelling up basically my body was shutting down and it couldn't breathe um, and I even felt like even breathing was hard too so it was just so scary like when I tell you like 
how important every organ is so important and yeah so I've been having valley fever for the past uh, seven what are we on 11 months I've been on medication and another thing that I've been going through is hair loss like yes my hair looks good here but I know my hair very well and I'm not gonna show you because I'll probably cry um, it actually doesn't look crazy I'm just it's just I know my hair as like you know being a girl and I love my hair and stuff and just how different it feels and yeah and losing hair because of this medication has been really hard too and just dealing with so much of those things and um yeah so that's a lot of why i've been just not wanting to do youtube because it's just youtube requires a lot of energy oops sorry so i'm trying to also beat the sun because the sun is going down all right so fast forward with that um with real estate um, I literally stopped doing real estate for a good solid when I got sick January February I had closings which was very thankful for those and um, then I didn't work for like almost three months like I was just like I don't want to do anything I just want to rest my body's healing and I'm so thankful for that that I was able to do that um, but I was also feeling really lost with real estate and I just didn't know what I was going to do um, so What's crazy is like I've always been really like I have a lot of faith and God has always really been by my side and I really just asked him like I don't know what I'm doing I don't know what's next um, and just kind of putting it out there like um, I kind of was like at a point with real estate like do I really want to do this forever what do I do um, as much as I loved it you know it's one of those things where it's like it's it's really different it's it's a job that you have to physically work and if you don't do anything you're not gonna get anything out of it um, so um, it was so crazy I got in a message on my Instagram because I do a lot of real estate uh, content and stuff like that and um, I had my now manager um, actually message me on there and she's like hey Brenda like I've been seeing your content and I just want to see if um, you could call me and blah 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 and I thought she kind of a lot of people asked me like how do you do videos so I thought maybe like she wanted an idea of how the video was or I don't know maybe how to do social I don't know I just was like okay and I kind of had a feeling but I was like nah I knew that she did new builds but I was just like whatever you know as a realtor you take phone calls and you talk to people you connect you you uh, socialize and I so anyways I got her phone call and she was like, hey, I wanted to let you know that um, I really think you'd be great for this opportunity of working as a new sales consultant. And I was kind of like, what, like me? And she was like, yes, like I really wanted you for this opportunity. And I sent a lot of your videos to like my VP presidents and like, man, like I was like, oh my gosh, like you sent it all the way up to your leadership. Scary, like some of my videos are, I mean, they're all very professional and I never try to do videos that are like scandalous, but um that's not me <laughs> so anyways um she was like yeah so do your resume and apply and I was like oh my god okay so I told Jose like what do I do like pros and cons here like help me out like I always get not scared but I feel like Jose is a huge part of like my sanity um like it's silly and I, I love him so much like he literally keeps me sane it's like Nobody really knows how I am, right? Or who I am. I think he's the one that really knows me core and core, like all the way like to what's in here, to what's in here, to what's in my heart. And um, I need him to keep me sane. Like, and even though I already know the answer, like I just, there's something about his comfort of like, okay, honey, well let, let's, let's sit down. Like, what are the pros and cons? Why are you feeling like that? Because I've done resale for two years and um, when you do it for so long and you get so used to like running the show um it's really different when you are now working for a company so i was like oh my god like pros like i don't know like what if i hate it like i have a different schedule now like i'm only gonna have these days off and like i was just like i don't know like maybe i shouldn't like i should just continue what i'm doing he's like well what's the pros and then what's the cons like cons is you work weekends and i only have thursdays and fridays off and what else? what else and I was like mm, that's about it <laughs> and then he's like pros you get benefits you get insurance and you kind of work you know through a company you have people coming to you buying new builds you love new house like new homes and I was like yeah yeah you're right you're right 
and even though I already kind of like knew it it's just something about him like calming me down and like honey look at it this way and that and yeah so I literally did my resume as best as I could and I told myself I'm gonna be myself and if they don't hire me they don't hire me so that's what I did and I did my <laughs> application my application did my application and I sent in my resume and I had an interview literally in the next three days I was like oh my goodness and I had interview after interview there was like literally five interviews and I was like oh my goodness like this is a lot in energy like I had to make sure I brought Brenda Contreras to the table <laughs> and yeah I just told myself I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna talk to them tell them what I do and if they hire me they hire me if they don't they don't but then after like doing so much work <laughs> in my interviews and everything now I'm like I better get this job <laughs> but anyways I got the job and yeah so that's taking a lot of my other energy to just like learn this whole new world of new builds and selling and I've been doing it now for four, four months five months four months a whole month was literally training and then four months of like being on the floor and selling and I absolutely love it it's so much fun I work with amazing people and I I just enjoy it and I still I'm still doing real estate it's just different um, and I'm just super thankful for the opportunity and hey so that's what I've been doing too and that's what another thing that's taken a lot of energy of not doing YouTube because that requires me to be physically like you know just I'm I'm a not I'm not I don't like the word perfectionist I really like to know my I really like to know my shit <laughs> that's that like I like to know my shit and if I don't I put a lot of pressure on myself so it was really hard to take off the realtor hat and and kind of just put on this new hat of like okay this is the rules this is what we got to do this is the contracts this is this this is that this is this and I like to know my things like I love to help people but know like be very knowledgeable so I took it a lot like harder when I started but your girl is thriving now and I'm doing very well so couldn't be any more happy and yeah guys like I've just been really working with my mind and just being super positive and just really setting out affirmations and literally just manifesting and you know talking to God and just keep like doing me um, I've always been I can't say like I've always done what makes me happy but like I feel like I've I've always wanted to like make other people proud um, and I, I'm done with that like I'm just here to make Brenda proud and to make my future children or whoever I don't even want to make them proud I want to make myself proud um, because my thing is it's this is for me and my kids are not gonna require them to you know fill in my shoes they're gonna be their own people and their own humans um, but yeah like I just am being so selfish and I couldn't be any more thankful that I have this time to be selfish. I'm 27 years old and wow, like I've grown up and I'm gonna be 28 in January. Yeah, I'm so excited. Um, and I pray to God that I make it and it's just, yeah, literally I think I'm finally getting to know. 27 has been a really good, even though it's been a scary year, 27 has been a really good year to like physically know Brenda. And that makes me so happy because I've honestly like even two months ago I was a little unhappy um, which is crazy but yes I was a little unhappy and um, hold on. Mm. I was a little unhappy because I don't know there's I realized that what makes me happy is to invest in myself and for me it's physically feeling good and working out so I decided that I'm not gonna BS anymore. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to pay. Some guy said hi. I'm going to pay for the for for for. I'm gonna pay for the things that I need to make me feel good, whether it's therapy, which I haven't done that. But uh, <laughs> um, uh, what is it called? I'm gonna pay for gym, like actual trainers, and I don't care whether it's a boot camp, which I've been in a boot camp lately, and I've been feeling so good. I think that's honestly what's really helped for my mental state. Like I need to physically do something with my body it's not about like the whole looking good part it's about just like 
doing it like I don't know and I didn't think I ever really needed it but I do like I've been physically going to like actual working out like just getting it done and getting a workout wake, waking up at 5 a.m going into my workout 5 45 getting it done coming back going to work and just doing that and I've had some really good success like literally um by just doing that and I'm super proud of myself and I'm just so happy and I'm very proud of myself and I'm so happy and and it took a lot of time um but I got here and I'm still there's still so much work to do and so many things to do but I'm really literally like thinking of present I'm not thinking future I was always I've always been a future person like I always think like five years or seven years from now and I'm like okay I need to live in the moment and yes all of those things are gonna happen and my future is going to be where you know my career everything's gonna be where I want it to be but um yeah so anyways I don't even know if that all made sense to you guys but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I just want to thank you guys for watching and I know um, that I don't know if I'm gonna be posting um, every time but when I get a chance I definitely will um, and I just want to tell you guys thank you so much for the people that follow me on here, the people that support me, that send me messages. Till this day still, I still get messages. Um, and it's, it's awesome. It's awesome to have like a little community of people just reaching out to me or telling me that I inspire them to do certain things. So anyways, thank you guys so much. And I'll be posting soon. And mwah, love ya. Bye. <laughs>